everyone, it's Rosemary Jane, and I have a new series in our Tech Talk Tidbits. And this one is actually a talk, a Tech Talk with an educator. So I'm gonna pass this off to Ashley Badgett right now to introduce our educator. Hello everyone, I'm Ashley Badgett, part of LTT. And we would like to highlight Clarissa Kionis, who is a third grade teacher at SCPA. Clarissa has successfully completed the Blended Learning Academy Cohort 3, and she is one of the first to achieve the Distinguished Educator Award this year. So let's take a look at what she has to share. All right, Clarissa, you've got displayed on your screen um, a visual for us. And um, so this immediately just looks like an exciting thing. I want to know more about it. But when we were talking earlier, you said that there was a key to all of this. Could you start off with that, what the key to this is? Yeah, the key is just your imagination. You mean you can just let it just go beyond your wildest dreams. Just build the best classroom that you can imagine and just kind of pull things into it that make it feel like your real classroom. You know, just think about what your students would want to see when they look at this picture and just kind of connect the home and the school in our new normal of virtual um, remote learning. Yeah, that, I love that so much. I think it's really inspiring. And so you have a Google slide and you've created a virtual classroom. Can you show us a little bit about how you got started with that? Like a blank slide. How did you get from blank slide to this? So I first open up a new slide here and then here's my blank slide. I go to insert and I go to image and then I go to search the web. And once I get there, I type in wall and floor background. So I click on the background that I would like to use and click insert. Then I just resize it to fit the screen, just like this. And I just kind of have a blank, kind of blank slate. That's perfect. And you said you can recolor the background, the walls, things like that. Yes, so I you just- got some of the elements? In? Oh, the, the background, go ahead, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I just click the rectangle shape here and just resize it to fit over this color. And then I just fill it whatever color. So I try to pick something that kind of looks like my classroom. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And there we go. So do you want to show us how you added a few of those things to the classroom to make to fill up the space? Sure. Um, I go to insert again and I go to search the web and then I just type in what I would like to put in there. So if I wanted to put in a rug, I type in transparent rug and I just find one that I like and I insert it and resize it to fit the room, just like that. Then if I wanted to add a shelf, I can do the same thing and just type in transparent shelf or bookshelf. Shelf. Insert it and resize it. Just like that. And I just would, um, anything else I want to do, I just do the same thing, just type in whiteboard, insert it, and then I can go and download um, my Bitmoji if I want to put myself into the classroom. Could we hop back up to the finished one and see some of those elements you added? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you've added your Bitmoji. Tell us a little bit about the books on the shelf. So uh, the last thing that we were working on while we were at school was fractions. So I tried to put some of the books that we were working on 
actually on the shelf. I uh, went to Epic and I looked for the books that we're using and I took a, a screenshot of it. I snipped it and then I link the book back to it. I just copied it and put the book back in here. And I also linked it back to the book so that the students can, I just copied it. So the students can go back and read what um, we were working on with fractions. That's great. I love how you took our, our content that we're using like in your math class and, and link, linked it with a picture um, in your slide, but then linked it directly to the content. So they're reading authentically what they would be already be reading in class. That's so awesome. Um, so you ended up sharing this in your Schoology course. You added yes. it so it's an interactive, clickable image. And for anybody watching this, I'm gonna give you a quick how to do that later. Um, Clarissa did a great job showing us how she put together um, this virtual classroom from the ground up literally putting in the ground and the walls into her virtual classroom, but then adding those image links. So um, if you would like to learn more about how to do things like our amazing CPS Blended Learning Academy, CPS Distinguished Educator Level 1, Clarissa, um, Clarissa has shown that she's shown you today, then just follow along to our training and support opportunities that are posted in the CPS Tech Talk course. There will be other information about what sort of curriculum you should pull in from your curriculum teams. And I will be adding a couple quick videos to show you how you can take this slide and download it and put it in your Schoology course. Clarissa showed me how she did it. And it's so easy, but it's so interactive for her students. So thanks for your time, Clarissa and Ashley, for joining us. So that's the end of this Tech Talk tidbit. Uh, this is a Tech Talk with CPS Distinguished Educator, Clarissa. Um, Please help me with your last name. Kenyonis. Kenyonis. Thank you, Clarissa. Uh, thanks so much. Bye.